Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to take a look at a brand new product from a company called Dobson. This uh, power station right here is a it's called the DBS Twenty One Hundred Pro. It has a twenty one fifty uh, battery capacity and two thousand four hundred watts of inverter. It comes with nine DC outputs. These three are USB C. Two of these are. Um, 100 watts and this one is one uh, is um 30 three usb a's a 12 volt car socket two dc 5521 and right now it's a 63 percent um battery capacity on this side here's three of these household plugs and then this is a tt30 uh, rv hookup and then in this side right here these are your inputs you can use solar ac ac uses this cable right here and then for solar this is the uh the cable for solar right here it's a uh, mc4 to xt60 and then this one i think is the car charger 12 volt to um, XT60. Okay, we're gonna use that later. I'm gonna use that later. Okay, and let's take a look. Okay, for solar, I don't know if you can see right here. For solar, it's um, it has a voltage of 60 volts at 25 amps. Uh, AC. It does fast charge at 1800 watts of uh, AC. Over here, you can uh, put two expansion batteries uh, to make this power station a beast. Okay, so right now it is a 63%. Let's go ahead and try to discharge it and see what it can handle. Okay. I'm going to use my trusty space heater. Okay, we're gonna plug it over here. Okay, turn it on. And the space heater right now is pulling what? 900 watts. And I'm gonna try the blow dryer okay let's go ahead and plug in the blow dryer and turn it to low and turn it on high okay let's put this on the side So now let's turn on this space heater on high. And right now it's pulling 2579. Let's see how long it can run at this. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this product has been running this at max for about five minutes now. The blow dryer is still working. The space heater is still working. 2384. And now it's down to uh, 47%. So let's see how much more it can handle. I'm going to try to plug in uh what is it called um the window ac unit window ac unit is now running but i did turn off the uh, blow dryer <sighs> okay now i'm going to turn on the blow dryer 
on law. On high. And then I'm going to put this face heater on high as well. Let's see how long can you handle it. Okay. Space heater on high. Twenty eight hundred and it overloaded. So okay. That is totally okay. Twenty eight hundred. It overloaded. So this overloaded protection does work. And when it was running at max, the fans are fairly quiet. I'm waiting for the overload protection to go away. And right now we're saying the temperature is too high. I think. It's back on running. But it's saying the temperature is high, but it is not hot at all. Okay, let's turn on the blow dryer. It's back up running. Like it never left. <clears throat> now let's try to see the solar. Okay, I'll put this behind here. The solar input. Still drawing from AC. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Okay, I turned off the AC. The solar is showing zero. What is going on? Is it overheating or something? Was just showing zero watts on solar. It shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's charging from solar and uh, AC, but I feel like it's okay. It is taking priority to solar. Okay, I'm looking at this app right here. It's showing 1200 from solar and 599 from AC, which is totally okay with me because I'm going to be using these mainly on solar. I really don't need uh, AC. But it did have to wait for like two minutes to cool down until that um, temperature icon went away for it to ramp up the solar because it was not putting in more than 400 watts but right now it is running at the claimed 1200 watts from solar okay let's try to run something and see if it might wake up to be inputting more on ac Okay. Oh, yeah, that does the trick. So I'm, I'm using the space heater and charging it from AC and solar. And now it went up to 26, I mean, 2250. So it does do charge, but it prefers solar to AC. So that's perfectly okay with me.
and this product is working really good um i didn't like that it, when it's too hot it doesn't input more solar but i think it's protecting itself i think that's okay uh, let's go ahead and turn off this space here and what is there else to talk about this thing is heavy though it is 55 pounds so this thing is very fairly heavy i mean it's good it has um rubber boots at the bottom so it won't slide easily on the surface which is a good thing and what do i like about this product um it's working as advertised it was able to pull 2400 it able to input um 1200 of solar but i did not do a c alone let me go ahead and do that let me go ahead and do that unplugged solar now it's inputting 1350 from ac but according to the manual it claims it can input 1800 and i don't seem to be getting that let's try again to uh, run the space here to see if you jump up if there is a load Eighteen hundred. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, space here and see if you go back down or you remain at eighteen hundred. You go down, and on this side right here, it has a switch from slow to fast, and I have it set to fast, but I don't seem to be getting eighteen hundred. I'm getting fourteen hundred max that's okay with me because i'm going to be using solar but it's not working at the claimed um, input so i don't like that i mean for other people but for me i think it's okay i'm going to be using solar so what do i think about this product um it's pretty good and right now it's on sale on amazon for 9.99 so i think that's a good thing for me but I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section and please follow and like the video. Thank you for watching, y'all have a wonderful day.